Hello there fellow gamers and welcome to a little tutorial that I was gonna make today. So today we are gonna download planets and install them and play them on Space Engineers. You know, just a little quick tutorial for those of you who don't know how to do that. And we're gonna start off in the workshop, right? We're gonna go into Steam and click on the Space Engineers game amongst all your games. Uh, and then you just click on the workshop, right? And then what you do is you press on this little tab called Planet. And then all the planets that will be available to you, yeah, they're gonna be available here, yeah. So here there's a big variety of different planets, uh, thick atmospheres, you know, at moons. I mean, <laughs> look at this, somebody made a cheese moon. Like, there's so many different planets, right? And yeah. So anyway, I have a couple downloaded already, but what you do, if you want to download a planet, just like any other Steam mod, you can press on that plus there, or you can just go into it and you can press subscribe and then it'll download. When you're done with downloading the planet, you're gonna be into Space Engineers and what you're gonna do is you're gonna press New World, you can do, you know, choose an old one if you want. We're gonna make a custom scenario, right? We're gonna just press Empty World and we're not gonna have any mods at all, kind of. We're just gonna put in a nice skybox because we all like that, don't we? Here we go. And this one. My favorite one and then we press on planet right there's asteroids and planets and here I have a bunch of planets okay so I forgot to tell you that it's very important that you put the planet that you're gonna use on the left side like on the active mods list because otherwise you're not gonna be able to spawn it in alright that's a very important step okay so we're now into space engineers we can go in and if you don't know how to spawn in a planet, I'll show you right now. What you do is press Shift and F10. And then you can spawn in asteroids and planets. Um, you can also spawn in uh, different items. But also another cool thing is you can press Ctrl F10. And then you get up your blueprint section with all the blueprints you ever made. And we have Alt F10 and then you can just switch between different objects. Like you can switch your camera. Also a cool thing. But we're gonna go back to Shift F10 now, and we're gonna press on planets, right? It's th this tab here. You just choose asteroids and planets. And then we have all the regular planets alien, Earth like, and uh, Mars, and then we have the moons for them. But the magma planet, that's the one we downloaded, right? And, well, I already had it downloaded, but you know, shh. Uh, spawn asteroid planet. That's what you do. You just press it. You can choose the size of the planet as well. It looks kind of funny for being a space planet, doesn't it? Now, of course, I cannot actually see this from this range. I have to go down on the planet itself. Oh, this looks cool. Not like the last time I was playing on it. Hold on, if we go onto the other side of the planet, yeah. Oh, that looks so cool. It looks like blue and shit. Oh, that looks really nice. So neat. Is that water? Yeah, it's water. Okay, yeah. So this planet is a bit different from the last time I played it. I think it has something to do with the updates. But still, looks pretty cool. A magma planet. This is nothing you can spawn if you... So this planet is pretty boring. You know, there's li you know, there's li like nothing on it. Except the cool texture. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah. Now, I don't know why <laughs> there's a blue sky. Oh uh, yeah, anyway. That's how you download planets and play them and all that stuff. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.